Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Twin Flame Journey Charm readings. And let's get started and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Let's see what messages come through. And if this doesn't resonate, that's okay. Have a look at one of my other readings. If there's a message that stands up for you, a topic, then there might be a message there for you. These readings are timeless. Let's see what message comes through. I like this. In this reading, this divine masculine is really standing up for his dreams, his desires, his goals, his wish fulfillment. He really wants the best life. This is somebody who's like, I want to make the best out of this life that I have. And I'm not going to let anything hold me back. I'm not going to let anything kind of like um, distract me. So this masculine he is coming to balance. Whoever this masculine is, is very strong. He's balanced within self, energies of divine masculine, divine feminine. First reunion starts within, right? The energies within. This masculine has done a lot of emotional clear out. Like I see here that he cried. This is somebody who got very emotional. Let it all out. I feel he is not one who shows tears very easily. Um, but he's always been very, I feel, se sensitive. But, and I feel the Divine Feminine knew, knew that this Divine Masculine's deep down, he's very, he's a, he's a teddy bear. <laughs> he's very sensitive, very sweet. Um, but sometimes he may have come across as somebody who's very tough and who doesn't really have, I feel like, in some cases he may not have really shown his emotions if he felt sad or upset. But like as if he remained neutral, but he really felt certain things. And I feel and see here that the clear out was for him to be more intuitively like in tuned, connected to divine, connected to source, connected to the energy, connected to uh, receiving downloads, informations, being clear. Uh, it had to do a lot with this third eye chakra, and and what I'm what I'm being shown here is that the emotions that flow, like tears flow from the eyes, right? Tears flow from the emotions we feel from within. Something about the tears, the uh, it's it's something about the tears, the release of that emotion helps this divine masculine with clearing out. Um, clearing out things that may have been a blockage for his third eye chakra. It's like phys his physical eyes were clearing out, but energetically was there was also a release so that he can he can see more clearly. So it's like all three eyes had had a clear out, a purge, a release so that it can be open to a new flow of energy. So that's what I see here, that that the connection between the physical eye and the third eye, and it had to do with the release, releasing of the emotions and also the heart chakra. I see here that the clear out of the, I, I feel it's an emotional purge, the release, has really helped this divine masculine come into alignment, has strengthened his, his um, energetic body. This masculine feels a lot more confident in strength. Ooh, he's really looking at you, Divine Feminine. This Divine Masculine is very focused on, wow, this Divine Masculine, ooh, he's really looking at you in this reading. I see here, um, because he's come, he's done that clear out, things that probably most likely was in the way of his emotions for, feelings for Divine Feminine is now become very clear he sees divine feminine very clearly intuitively he knows that there's a very strong bond here 
And he wants a new beginning with divine feminine. It's like, I'm tired of pretending. Showing here, I'm tired of pretending that I don't love you. I love you, divine feminine. And I want to make this work, but I'm, I'm tired of pretending. He knows he pretended here. He knows that he kept his emotions hidden. This had to do with the things that this masculine really needed to clear out, that he needed to heal, and he did it. This is somebody who knows what he wants and who he wants to be with. He, don't, he doesn't want anything having to do with the old, anything that had to do with the past about your connection here. Like, I see something about how things didn't work out with you, how things fell apart. It's like, I don't want to remember that. This masculine's like, I don't want to remember or think about that. I feel it discourages him. And he's like, I know it happened and I'm not going to focus on what didn't work. I'm going to focus on what I want and what I want to work right now. This is somebody who's really um, focused. Very, it's like, he, I feel like he is really going to, it feels like he's going to pursue divine feminine no matter what. Put the pride aside. The fears, doubts, worries about is this going to happen? Is this not going to happen? That sort of thing. This masculine, whoever this masculine is, whoever this resonates for, he doesn't care about any of that. It's like to heck with fears, to heck with worries. I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. It's like what, what do I have to lose? And I feel like this divine masculine's like he is very tired of wondering and it's like now I just want to give it my all and we'll just see what the results is it's like it's no point in worrying about something that has not taken place yet there's no point in worrying about something that I don't even know what the result is going to be what's the point I might as well put that energy into making things happen and I feel like this divine masculine is so focused and so motivated and determined to make it work that he's going to really put in the effort to make it work. It shows here that he will put a lot of work into this new cycle. Moving towards Divine Feminine. No longer being confused about what they want. This Divine Masculine has put the pride aside. He's like, I want this, I want this, and I want this. It's showing multiple things here. He wants a new life, a good life, a happy life. He wants to be with Divine Feminine. He knows who he wants to be with, which is Divine Feminine. And he wants to he wants to prosper. And I feel like prosper in all aspects of his life with Divine Feminine. It's like I want a good, happy home. I want I want the family. I want friends. I want um to celebrate good moments, good food. I feel like this is somebody who enjoys food. <laughs> um yeah, so this masculine, he really wants to, yeah, when I said enjoy food, he really enjoys food. Hmm. I feel like this is somebody who may have um, even asked Divine Feminine, like, what do you know, um, what do you make? What's your favorite dish? What do you like to make? And like, make it for me sometime. I feel like that's, that's this masculine. Uh, and I feel like he likes to dine out. Like he likes out to eat out as well. Like he enjoys uh, trying different dishes. Yeah, this is somebody who really enjoys food. Went off a little track there, but food really stands out in this reading for me. So I said it. <laughs> um, so I'll continue with the reading. Uh, so I see here that this masculine wants to get get the best like the most out of this life and he wants to do with you divine feminine uh divine feminine in this reading i see you here you're very strong in your power very focused um but you don't see this happening yet this is being hidden from divine feminine there might be even travel involved and i see a different type of travel here there's two things that are coming in this reading um, so just take what resonates. I see travel here of Divine Masculine moving towards Divine Feminine. 
that some might be at a distance. And there's also family members moving towards Divine Feminine here. So I feel like either family members will come with Divine Masculine. Like Divine Masculine will not travel alone. He will bring, I feel like he will bring some sort of support. Like, hey, just be here as a support, you know, because in case like I start to shake or in case I, you know, I get nervous around my Divine Feminine, like just be here for me. I feel like that he may bring somebody. In some cases, it may be somebody, um, but I see family members, so it could be either Divine Masculine side or Divine Feminine side. But I feel like in some cases, Divine Masculine will bring someone with them on this travel. This is to pursue the dream, the ultimate wish fulfillment. Divine Masculine is no longer thinking about self. He's thinking about us. Us meaning you and you and I, divine feminine and I, my divine feminine and I, our life, what I want for us, what I want for our future, what I want for our family. That's what I see here. This masculine has big, big dreams. This is somebody who's really going to, it's, he's really going to go like pursue divine feminine and really go Go for it. Like, I see, like, wish fulfillment, doing the best he can for your life together. And not only, um, not only, like, your lifestyle, but it's also spiritually. He will be really pushed and guided to be, I feel like, some sort of leadership role in his, in this mission work as his, um, that's part of his path, part of his, I feel like his gifts, whatever he has within him will be, I feel like, there was, there's something that this divine masculine has within him. It's like he is not even close to untapping it yet. It's like to, to get connected to that, um, I feel like that divine something that was gifted upon him, something that he hasn't even touched the surface yet. That is what's going to lead him on this huge, huge path with Divine Feminine for their mission work. It's like he needs to reconnect with Divine Feminine first before he is revealed what his path is for their journey together. It's like he's not going to be shown it before, prior to their reconnect, re Prior to reunion, it's not going to show you. The first step is that these two come into union first. It's like establish everything, all aspects of your life first. This is what Divine Masculine is being guided to do. So he's doing it, having everything all in, in place first. Once they have a steady foundation, that's when the Divine will show Divine Masculine what he needs to do on their journey together in their mission work. So the last thing I see here is that this masculine is tired of the old. He is releasing. And when I say releasing, he is really not only that clear out that I mentioned, the emotional um, purge, the emotion clear out, but he is releasing anything that's going to delay his progress because he wants to, it's like he's got a momentum. He's, he's on a roll. He wants to keep going and he's like, I'm not going to go down this path and let anything get in my way. And I feel like if something tries to delay him, he's like, I'll make, I'll make sure that my path remains clear. It's like, if there is something that may take him off course, right? For example, there was, there might be something important that may enter his path. All of a sudden, he will do his best to resolve it, to clear that out, to make sure that it's done so that he can keep keep moving forward it's like and some cases I feel like he will continue to move forward while it's like multitasking while this is going on on the side but it's like I still want to get that cleared out in the in the process right so he will be doing a number of things and this journey will require divine masculine divine feminine when they come into union to do multiple things for their mission work here but it's showing here that it's not clear what it is yet, but 
they require more strength first before they can um, can be presented on whatever this is. So this is the reading for today. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a thumbs up. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.